Hi again. Uh, here we are to continue talking about um, the slideshow example. And in the previous example, we explored um, position, position absolute, position relative, and we we settled on um, using uh, transform 3D or, or transform translate 3D to um, move our, our slideshow, right? And actually, we're, we're really just moving this slides inner element right and it's taking all the slides with it so how are we going to do that with um with code right so let's actually explore that for a minute so i'm going to go down to the um the script tag here and what i want to do is i want to write a function that's going to uh, let's call it make slides how about make slide show how about that right so we'll make a make slideshow function and um, this function is going to apply all the code that's necessary to make the slides move, okay? Um, it will need uh, a little bit of help though, right? We're gonna have to tell it which element has the slideshow inside it, right? And there's a couple ways to do this. I'm gonna set it up in this way where you pass in the ID of the element, right? And then it will work from that element. So it knows that whenever you pass in a, you know, an ID, it will always look inside that element and find an element with this slides inner. Okay. And then it will count the images inside the slides inner to know how many slides are in the slideshow. And then it'll run the slideshow. Okay. So let's talk about that. Like, how do we, you know, get an element by its ID name? And then from there, how do we find an element with a class name within that element? And then within that, that other element, how do we find all the image tags, right? So let's do it this way. Um, first of all, I'm going to write this function. But in order to make it work, what I want to do is I want to call on it, right? So if you called on it here, you know, I could say the name, make slideshow, and then here we've defined the function and here we've actually, you know, executed the function or run the code within the code block. So this curly brace always represents the code block and it'll have a block of code and that code is only going to run when you actually invoke or call the function this way, right, by saying its name followed with the parentheses. Um, I'm going to put a slides ID here, right? Um, and this will be the, a variable, a parameter that we can pass to this function that will be the ID name of the slides. And by doing it this way, we could make multiple slideshows, right? So I could say, you know, another slideshow and pass in a different ID name, right? Um, and that's hopefully like a nice way to work because now we can use one function to create any number of slideshows, right? So we still have a little more work to do. If I put this variable here, I'll have to include the ID name that I'm looking for here, right? So this is the value that gets passed into or assigned to this variable, right? Okay, so now that we've got that, let's get a, um, make a variable here. I'm gonna declare a new variable with the keyword const. So const is short for constant, and it means a variable that doesn't change value, like you can't change it. Okay, so I'm going to declare a variable here, and I'm not planning to change this variable. So I'll call this slides, and then I'll use document.getElementById. So this, if provided with an ID name, will um, give us a reference to that DOM element within your HTML document. Okay, so we say document, get element by ID. We've passed this ID name in here. I'm holding it in this variable, and then I'm going to use it with get element by ID. Okay, um, so now that we've got that, how do we get the slides inner right here, right? So how do we get this guy from inside slides? Now we know this is kind of an agreement that we're making with anybody that's going to use our library is if they've created some div that's going to be the slideshow that they have to include a div called slides inner within that one right so let's get the um constant let's do like um slides inner and we're going to call document dot um 
query selector. Okay, and actually if you look at the code hint here, you'll see there's query selector and there's query selector all. We want the first one. So the first one will select the first match. It'll give you one item and match that first item. Query selector all will give you a, an array or a collection of all items that match, right? And in our case, we, only, we should only have one inner slideshow. So this is easier for us to work with. So we'll, we'll, get, we'll use this one, right? Okay, and instead of, actually I put document here, but actually I don't want to search the whole document for this element. Instead, what I want to do is I want to search slides. So I'm going to put slides.querySelector, and that will start my query from within the element here. So it'll only look inside here, and if I had another, you know, slides inner that was somewhere else, it won't find it, right? And so we're going to look here, and then what I want to do is I want to put slides inner here, but query selector, um, you know, can query any element, right, by description. It's kind of like those, C those CSS selectors that you use, right? You can query by tag name, by class name, by ID name. Um, in this case, this is a class name, so we'll put the dot in front of it, okay? So I'm going to look for slides inner, class name, slides inner, because it's got the dot. And then I'm going to do a query selector, so when I find the first instance of this, it'll return it. And I'm going to search within slides for that element, okay? And you can test this yourself. Sometimes it's good to test these things, right? So what I'll do is I'll put console log here, and let's see what slides looks like. And then we can see if we've found um, slides inner. So I'll do slides inner here and we'll log both of those things, right? So let's take a look, right? So if I if I go to my browser here and I use the inspector, if you're in Safari, you'll need to go to um, Preferences and Advanced and then click on or check this box that says Show Develop Menu in Bar, right? So I'll control click and choose or right click and choose Inspect Element and then I'll see my uh, my page here and then there's a, a console tab somewhere along here on mine it's on the end here and if i refresh you can see that i've got this div here that has id slides on it let me actually see if i can uh, zoom in on that right you can see this says id slides and then this is slides inner so i've found both of those things right so um so everything seems to be working right okay this is really great. So now we need a list of the images, right? So let's do that next. So in this case, I'm going to do, um, how about, um, let's just call them images, right? Okay, so constant images. And I know that these are within slides inner. So I'll say slides inner dot, and this time I'm going to say query selector all. Okay, because I want all of them, and I know there should be at least one, but if you're making a slideshow, it's probably going to be at least two or three or four images, right? So I'm going to do query selector all, and what I'm looking for is tags that are the image tag. So when we talk about a tag, we don't put the dot or the hash mark in front of it. We just say the name of the tag. So all the tags up here are IMG. So we'll just put the IMG here. And we're only searching within slides inner. So I'll say slides inner, let's query selector all and give me you know, all of the images that you find. Let's uh, console log that just for testing, right? So we'll say console log images. And uh, you know, for fun, let's say console log um, images dot length, right? And that'll tell us how many images there are, right? So let's test that. We'll get our console again, and I'll refresh my page over here. And you can see it says node list. And then you can see I got image, 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 and image. And it's inside the square bracket, so it's sort of an array. I say sort of an array because um, query selector all actually doesn't return a regular JavaScript array, and that can be a problem sometimes, so keep that in mind. It returns an array-like object, which in JavaScript is a thing, right? It's a, a node list is not exactly an array. Um, it acts like a, an array in most cases, right? 
If I click the little triangle here, you can see four is the length and I have four nodes inside here. They each have an index of zero, one, two, and three. And then you can see the whole tag here and these are the actual tags in the page, right? So this is really great, right? So we're doing pretty good here. All we need to do now is get these things to move, right? As the, um, you know, af after time goes by, right? So every couple seconds, we'll want them to slide to the, uh, to the left, okay? So um, let's tackle that next. And um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them to the comments.